Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. Today we are going to be discussing clacking of hematuria and dark colored urine. Don't forget in the exam hall to use close-ended questions to save time and use lay terms that the patient can relate with. These are the questions you should ask for a patient that has hematuria. One, you want to know the age of the patient. You want to know the onset, when it started. You want to know if this is the first episode or it has been recurrent in the past. You also want to know what part of the urine is dark. You want to know if it's the forestream, the midstream, or the terminal um, part or portion of the urine, or gross total hematuria. It's also important for you to ask for history of paleness of soles, of the, uh, the soles of the feet and the palms of the hand, and yellowish discoloration of the mucous membrane. If the patient has a material or, um, or dark colored urine, it's important to ask for history of frequency, urgency, dysuria, and enuresis, that is bedwetting. It's also important for you to ask for history of abdominal pain, flank swelling, or flank pain, and history of fevers as well. This will, give, this will guide you on what the possible um, etiology is. Now, in terms of causes, these are the kind of questions to ask to be able to calm down on a particular cause. It, has the patient been having persistent fever, chills and rigor, with um, joint pain and um, generalized body pain, to point towards malaria, a cause of dark colored urine? Has the patient been having history suggestive of sickle cell disease? What is the genotype of the patient? Um, recurrent bone pains? Um, um, thinning of the arms and the extremities. History to suggest sickle cell disease because um, hemolytic crisis can present with dark colored urine. It's also important to ask if the patient is on any medications. We know that patients that are being treated for tuberculosis or rifampicin have red colored urine. We also know that patients that are taking cytotoxic drugs such as cyclophosphamide would have hematuria and to um, the antidote to this hematuria by cyclophosphamide is important to know is mesna. Mecaptopurine, me, meta, mecaptoethane, sulfonate sodium. Also, it's important for us to know if the patient has been having, if the patient has a recurrent, um, a recent history of sore throat with facial swelling or leg swelling. It will point towards an acute glomerulonephritis. You want to also know if the patient has had any recent trauma, falling astride, or history of urethral catheterization as a possible cause of hematuria. Now. You want to know history of cancers, the triple A's, anorexia, anemia, asthenia. Now, but in addition to that, you want to know if there's flank pain, if there's flank swelling and hematuria, if it might point towards a renal cell carcinoma or a renal a cancer of renal origin. If there is um, gross hematuria with, with um, history suggestive of prostatitis, such as hesitancy, terminal dribbling, nocturia it will point towards more of a prostatic cancer as a cause of um, the hematuria it's important to note that cancers along the genital genital urinary tract present with hematuria and that is an important um, um, etiology patients who are also having chronic cough weight loss dredging night sweat can also have tuberculosis um, which can also present with hematuria Lastly, you want to ask if the patient has been waddling in, waddling in streams on stagnant um, water, which will give you, um, which will suggest schistosomiasis as a possible cause of that terminal hematuria. So these are the questions to ask when the patient has hematuria. There will be other history. There, there will be other videos to um, that will demonstrate the practicing of abdominal um, examinations, examinations generally, and clocking of other symptoms. If you like, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Cheers.